glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. A live look in Orlando. The players will tell you this is a tremendous bowl trip. David Pollock even once had a big mural of a sack he had of Kyle Orton of Purdue in this very game. The Capital One Bowl is coming up. That does it for us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Enjoy the game. We'll see you at the half. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. He gets rid of this one. Second down, 10 to go. Ball in the 25. Key 15, key 15. Let's go, defense. Let's get out the field. Defense. Yeah. Yeah. The ball is loose. And they fall on the loose ball. And that's exactly what this defense was looking for. Yeah, that fumble gives these guys some added life. Now let's see if they can capitalize off of it. So the offense will come out for their first possession. Good field position for their first possession of the ball game. Let's see if they can capitalize off of it. And he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. That brings up second and nine. Second and nine. Ball on the 24-yard line. And he hits him hard at the 26-yard line. Brad, not only did they give up a sack here, but their quarterback just got hit and hit hard. If I'm an offensive coordinator, especially an offensive line coach, I'm getting a hold of my offensive line, making sure these guys are on the same page, and they've got to take more pride in taking care of their quarterback than that play right there. And a quick throw. Brought down right around the 14-yard line. Well, that was a perfect time to fall screen pass there by the offense. The defense had pinned their ears down, and they were coming after the quarterback. They were out of position. The quarterback waited just to the right time to drop it down to the running back for the big play. Nice run up the middle. Makes the tackle. That's a game of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. made at about the nine yard line. They come out on an empty backfield. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away. Kick is up, and they tack on three points. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Cornhuskers are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. He's to the 40. First down grab by the receiver. They'll bring him down around the 42-yard line. I love the blitz, but the quarterback did a really good job of seeing it and reading it, and then standing tall in the pocket to find his man for the first. Quick throw, and he's taken down at about the 47-yard line. A good play fake that time. Here, the play action was key. It held the linebackers there by the fake by the running back, and the running back did a very nice job of carrying out his fake. Fires out to his wideout. 
And they push him out at the 29. A nice looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here. And again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. He's going to try and scramble. He's at the 20. Tackle right around the 10 yard line. Pickup. Wallace picks up about seven yards on the option keeper. That brings up second and goal. Touchdown, Mississippi. A short burst for the score. That's what happens when you can win the war in the trenches down near the goal line. converts the extra point. A six-play, 74-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass, just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. So our score, 7-3, taken at the five. They'll bring him down at the 27. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. He has some room. He's taken down at about the 35. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. That was a nice play. Anything you can do without being penalized to prevent the offense from moving forward is always a plus. He laterals the ball. He's tackled at the 36. Couldn't get that additional yard he needed to keep the drive moving. No, he was trying to muscle his way past those big guys, but they stood their ground. Pack is back deep to return the punt. Takes it to 25. Brought down at the 34-yard line. The Rebels really taking care of business early in this football game. Yeah, somebody forgot to tell them that they're the big underdog in this game and they're supposed to lose. I love their confidence that they're playing with right now. And I think this defense right now needs somebody to try to lift up their spirits. They seem to really be just out there kind of going through the motions. And I think the last time they were out there when they gave up such a long drive has had an impact and an effect negatively on the psyche of this defense. That'll make it second and four. Ole Miss is up by four. And he's tackled at about the 43-yard line. First down. And now he's got room to run. Knocked out of bounds at the 41. Gain of nine yards. That'll make it second and inches. Quick strike to the receiver. And down he goes at the 34. That's a game seven on the play. That makes it first and ten. They'll spread the field with five wide. And 
they get nice yardage on that run. Good for a gain of six yards. That'll make it second and four. Stop around the 23 yard line. Loss of one on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. Ole Miss is up four. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. Brad, the quarterback and this wide receiver, they have outstanding chemistry. Wide receiver is so open because it was a perfect route and the quarterback was able to time it up just perfectly. And he hits the PAT. Line up to kick this one away. From the five yard line. He's taken down at the 31 yard line. The Rebels are smothering the opposition so far today. What's this offense got to do to get off the schneid? Well, you've talked to offensive coordinators about that, and they'll say we've got to find our go to guy. Who are our players that we know we can count on? And what are the plays that we typically feel the most confident about? That's usually where the offenses tend to go when they're getting shut down like that. Nice run, and he's brought down. That's a game of five on the play. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. He's at midfield. He's at the 40. Inside the 30. And he's finally knocked out of bounds at the 16-yard line. Oh, that was one beauty of an option by that quarterback. No question. There was no hesitation whatsoever. Once he saw that hole, he turned it upfield and left everybody in the dust. First and 10. Let's see if they can build off that great run. Defense in their short yardage package. run there. That's good for a of five yards. That brings up second and five. Man left, man left. Three down, three down. Hey, check like 39. Check like 39. Touchdown, Cornhuskers. run by the halfback to find the end zone. Good play call here by the offensive coordinator. He realizes when you get down into the red halfback like this, just give him the ball and let him find his way into the end zone. He makes the PAT. A four-play, 70-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. So the score now, 14-10. Nebraska is lining up to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. Three down, three down. Ole Miss holds a four-point lead. Got hit and still completed it. There he goes. And he's level at the 46-yard line. Slings it. He's gobbled up in the backfield. That's a loss of one yard on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. He 
makes his way to about the 45. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. Third down. They bring him down in the backfield. Scoring a huge first quarter by both teams. The Rebels lead it by four. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. Big kick here to try to pin the offense deep in their own territory. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. And he is drilled at the 15. Second down, 15 to go. Ball on their own 15. He gets to about the 31-yard line. Ball the game of 16 yards. First down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 31-yard line. And he carries the ball for a nice game. There's a player hurt. It doesn't look to be that bad. That makes it second and two. Man left, man left. Three down, three down. Hey, check Mike 39. Check Mike 39. Up the middle for a nice game. The halfback goes forward for about five yards there, and that gets him the first. You know, there may have been a little bit of uncertainty there by the front seven. They did read the option. They knew it was coming. They were just a step too slow to stop it from being a good game. He lost the ball. They fall on it. That just shows you how determined this defense is. Great play by the linebacker to come up with the ball after the fumble. One quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Ole Miss is up by four. He lets it go. They'll bring him down at the 20-yard line. Completes it across the middle. It's on a move. Touchdown. You've got to give each of these guys credit for getting in sync, really fighting to create that touchdown. on the extra point. A short two-play, 52-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. So our score, 21-10. Wonderly has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. He's to the 20, and he's taken down at the 29. The last time the offense had it, they lost a fumble. So I'm pretty sure the coaching staff was over there talking about ball security. The game is in danger of getting out of hand early. It's very, very important that they not only hang on to the football this drive, 
but they also need to get a score on the board as well. Tackle at about the 31. Two-yard gain on the quarterback keeper. That makes it second and eight. From their own 31-yard line. Second down. He's to the 40. He kept it himself and picked up a good-looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. From the 45 yard line, it's first down. And now he's got room to run. Cross off the right side. That's a gain of eight on the play. That makes it second and two. release tight end incomplete it's third down and they're about two yards shy of the sticks he's tackled at the 27 that's a gain of 10 on the play that makes it first and 10 Gets to about the 24-yard line. That's good for a game of three yards. That makes it second and six. This is the eighth play of this drive. Trying to get it to the tight end, but it falls to the ground. Boy, that was a rocket. If the receiver didn't come down with it, quarterback made sure nobody else was going to come down with it either. So we're looking at another third down here. Draw here. Tackled after a decent pickup. That's good for a gain of seven yards. First down. This is the 10th play of this drive. Ten, and he's taken down at the four. First and goal from the three. Let's see if they can muscle this one in. Got his receiver. Touchdown. Good football team has to consistently be able to capitalize when they're in the red zone. And he converts the extra point. So an 11 play, 71 yard drive, and they come away with seven points. The score now, 21-17. Nebraska gets set to kick this one away. Excellent kick. Walton with the return. Kickoff return, 18 yards. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Ole Miss is up four. And he tackles him hard at the 11th. That's a loss of seven yards. That'll make it second and one. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Look 
Looks middle, got his back, and he hits him hard at the 11-yard line. Looks like the defense was in man coverage there, fellas, and that's why they stopped that screen. Yeah, and when the secondary isn't dropping back in the zone, it makes it difficult to have success with that kind of screen play. Fires it quickly. Makes the grab, and he's knocked out of bounds. Big play right there. throw picked off and they make the stop at the 37 I'm really impressed with this guy's closing speed on the ball he's got the kind of jets you need to be a standout corner first and 10 ball on the 37 yard line Quick tips. It's a great job here by the defensive coordinator with his play calls. A lot of times you start to maybe think about blitzing linebackers. This time he keeps the linebackers back in position to be able to knock the football away and not give this offense a chance to pick up the first down. They'll work the left side. And he's tackled at the 34-yard line. Call it a gain of three yards. That makes Third down, and they need to get it to the 27. He's on the run. Tackle made right around the 26-yard line. Awesome running here on third down. That can bring a lot of confidence to an offense when they can pull that off so successfully. Seven yard line. Boy, did you see how the defense just swarmed to the ball carrier? That was fantastic pursuit. It's second and 11. Ball on the 27. Gains his way to the 19 yard line. third and three and once again they'll come to the line try to convert on third down Taken down at the 10-yard line. Brad, I think offensive coordinators spend more time focusing on two areas for an offense. Third down conversions and red zone offense. And right now, this offensive coordinator has to be really happy with the way this offense is executing in their third downs. That's the second time they've been able to get a first down in this drive on third down. The Cornhuskers call a timeout. That's their second of the half. That brings up second and goal. It's second and goal. Ball on the three. They're crowding the line. Touchdown, Cornhuskers! Nice run and a score by the halfback. And a nice call by the coach there. Just give it to your main man anytime you're near the goal line. Trying to go up by three, they'll kick the extra point. He makes the PAT. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. Well, a high-scoring game. This one's been up and down the field. Soon we're going back to the studios, and that means Reese and David Pollock. And I don't know if either one of them can explain this thing. No, I, I think we may have to expand the halftime to give them enough time to be able to break down what just occurred in these first 30 minutes of football. I'm not sure either one of them are smart enough to break this down. You know the offense will be looking to do better this time out. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. Throws intercept. No, he dropped it. Sanders intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. Second down, ten yards to go. Ball on the 22-yard line. Keep it 
Zips it to the back. And he's tackled in the open field. Ole Miss is going to take their first time out of the half. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Gets it out. He's met immediately. That was a loss of four yards. That'll make it third and five. They go back to him on a quick throw. They'll bring him down at the 50. The Rebels use their second timeout. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 50-yard line. Caught open field. And he shoved out of bounds at about the 29-yard line. From the 29-yard line, first down. Deep ball, laying it out there. Almost intercepted. Number 88 was the intended receiver on the play. Here's the eighth play of the series. They hook up over the middle. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. He's under pressure, and he can't get away from the pressure. The Rebels using their third and last timeout. The field unit's out on the field, and they're going to try to get these guys three points before halftime. The kick is up, and they tack on three points. Feeling this ball is going nowhere near the return man with this kickoff, most likely to end the half. He'll return it from the six. He's out to the 30. Tackle made at the 38. So at the end of the half, we get a tie game here, knotted at 24. We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA. And the second half just about set to get started. We're dead even. <laughs> Taken from the three-yard line. And down he goes at the 31. Well, this is a competitive game. It's fun to watch these two teams go back and forth. Just when you think one team has the edge, the other gets right back into it. This is exciting. Time's getting a little bit tighter now. You gotta make every possession count. Run, 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 run. Nice run up the middle. Cross. Get six yards on the carry. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. A great tackle at the 49 yard line. Gain of 12 on the play. That makes it first and 10. Hey, 
He makes it to the 48-yard line. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 48-yard line. They'll drop in for a loss. Called a loss of one yard on the play. Third down. He drilled as he let go of that football. Yeah, he's going to feel that one tomorrow. That brings up fourth and seven. Right now, he wants to get this kick away and change field position. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. A lot of times you'll see teams start to clinch up a little bit when games stay close well into the second half. You need to stay loose, keep doing what you've been doing all week in practice, and execute when it's time. Nice run, and he's brought down. That's good for a game of five yards. That brings up second and five. He's to the 40. He's at midfield. And he's finally shoved out at the 46. They come out on an empty backfield. Nice run there. it out to maybe the 23-yard line. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. Brought down around the 10-yard line. the seven yard line. That's a gain of three on the play. That brings up second and goal. We're at play number nine of this current drive. There he goes. Nice run to the outside. This one should be makeable. Ole Miss could take the lead with this field goal. Kicks up, and it's good. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. Wonderland. 
Has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. He'll return it from the three. Ole Miss has got a little Jekyll and Hyde thing going on here on their defense. Well, they were on their heels the entire first half. You look around now, they're flying around, making a lot of plays, and really giving themselves a chance to maybe win this game. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Got a man, but he's tackled back behind the line of scrimmage. From their own 16-yard line, it's second down. Tackle at the 15. He never really had a shot. They were on him almost as soon as he took the handoff. That'll make it third and 13. it out no incomplete he caught it but failed to get that one necessary put in that's an outstanding catch and he just missed making a big time he's taken down at the 44 nice yardage on the run back Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Ole Miss holds a field goal lead. Under heavy pressure. Slides down. out to his wideout, and they got to him before he could get back to the line. That was a loss of one yard. That makes it third and three. Makes it to the 27. Pushed out of bounds around the 21 yard line. Six yards. That'll make it second and four. Three down, three down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He makes it out to maybe the 20 yard line. Line it up for the field goal. He gets it up. And the kicking team goes to the sideline very disappointed. So we'll change possession with a score 27 24, Ole Miss. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. He's out to the 30. Tackle made at about the 35. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 35-yard line. Throws this one away. And he 
he's tackled at about the 47 yard line. Call it a gain of 12 yards. First down. First and 10. Ball on the 47. Two down, two down. Hey, check mark 39. Check mark 39. Catches it, and he's looking for more. He's taken down at the 33 yard line. Gain of 20 on the play. That's three down and one to go. The Rebels with a three-point lead. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Here he goes. Gets out to around the 25. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. What a play, and that is first and goal. Game of 17 on the play. That makes it first and goal. Check, tight right, tight right, tight right. Four, 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 check out, got there. Four down, four down. Hey, check out, three, nine. Up to the right. And for Cross, that carry puts him over the 1,000 mark for rushing yards this year. What I've been impressed with all year long is the way this guy's earned those yards, oftentimes breaking two, three tackles before someone finally brings him down. And this play is number eight on the drive. Now we'll see how the backup can do after that injury. And down he goes at the one. Third and goal for the lead. They go with a run. He's brought down in the backfield. Loss of three on the play. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. Kicks away, and it is good. Big, big kick. It's up to the defense now to make some plays and hold on to this lead. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Walton fields it at the one. And he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. The kicker missed a field goal on the last drive, so the offense is out here trying to turn it around on this one. Yep. It was a rough go-around for this kick with the last time. But this guy won't hang his head. If he has another opportunity to kick one, he'll be ready to go. Up the middle for a nice game. That brings up second and five. And he carries the ball for a nice game. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Slings it. They'll bring him down at the 45-yard line. Second and 13. Ball on the 41 yard line. And he just gets rid of it. Go. 
He rifles it. Almost picked off. That was a nice play. Anything you can do without being penalized to prevent the offense from moving forward is always a plus. And you know, it's basically like we're starting from zero here in a one-quarter game now. Every possession is vital. Quick pass. And they push him out right around the 28-yard line. Gain of four on the play. That brings up second and five. From their own 28-yard line. Second down. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Gain of four yards. That'll bring up 32. Pitches it, knocked out of bounds. The 39-yard line, about seven yards there on the scamper from the halfback, and that's going to be good for the first. That's some tough running there. He refused to go down after the initial hit. He's one of those backs that earns every single yard. Here's a run, tackled for a loss. Just nowhere for the ball carrier to go as the linebacker met him in the backfield. Boy, what great play recognition by this linebacker. He saw the run was coming, and he just shot through the gap and made a great tackle. It's second and 11. Ball on the 38. He's at the 40. He finally goes down at the 33-yard line. From the 33-yard line, first down. And he makes it out to about the 31-yard line. Less than three minutes in the game. He's at the 20. Makes it to the 14. That's another first down, Brad. And right now, you can just really feel and sense the rhythm that this offense is in. Their ability to pick up first downs, just pushing this defense further and further down, back deep into their own territory. Here's the eighth play of the series. Down around the three yard line. That's good for a gain of 11 yards. That makes it first and goal, goal, fourth quarter, all tied up. What's it going to be? So he decides to hold on to it, and it goes nowhere. With the defensive line neutralizing the blocks, these linebackers are able to come up and make plays in the holes. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Touchdown, Cornhuskers. No need to pitch it as the quarterback's able to run it in. I'll tell you what, when you're a quarterback and the goal line is right there, it's pretty hard to pitch the ball when you think you can get in. That's a smart decision to keep it for the score. And he adds the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback.
You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Just over two minutes in the game. And he's taken down. Right around the 38-yard line. defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. From their own 38-yard line, it's second down. There's the strike complete. He's knocked out of bounds around the 46-yard line. From the 46-yard line, first down. He's tackled at the 46-yard line. He's got to throw it in a hurry, and he just gets rid of it. They really need to pick up this third and long here in the fourth quarter. Tackle around the 25-yard line. And for Wallace, he's now gone over 300 yards passing for the game. You can tell the quarterback's done a really good job of preparing because he's read the defense like a pro all day long. And it's not too often you get a game like this from your quarterback, but it doesn't matter because these guys are still losing in the game. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. I like the scheme the defensive coordinator came up with here. They were all over the place on that play and left the quarterback nowhere to throw it. From the 25-yard line, second down. And they make the stop at about the 15-yard line. Just over a minute left. Gains his way to the seven-yard line. That makes it second and two. And this is the tenth play. That back but he can't hang on and here's another third down that could have been a big play for the defense yeah, even though he had a good shot at picking it off it's still a heck of a play to force the incomplete pass this might be their last chance fourth down Nice run, and he's brought down. Well, that's another first down, Brad. That's the fifth first down on this drop. You know, they're, they're, this offense isn't hitting a lot of big plays, but they're very, very consistent with their execution. It's putting a lot of pressure right now on this defense. Dives, and he's down. Loss of one there for the halfback. The Rebels use their second timeout. And here's the 14th play of the drive. We have less than a minute to go. Touchdown, Rebels. Late in the fourth quarter, one possession game, and this is where poise really takes over. Whoever shows it will win the football game. The extra point to tie this game up. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Just under a minute left in the fourth quarter, and this game hasn't failed to disappoint. It's locked up at 34. Wonderland has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. Fielded at the four. 
Tackle made at the 29. Late in the fourth quarter, tie football game. An important game for both these teams, and this is where you find out who your leaders are. And he throws it away. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 29. The lineman got a little ahead of the snap count. Here's the call. False start, offense. Little stumbles like these can kill your offensive progress. Still second down. to the receiver and it falls incomplete. The receiver needed to get a step or two further into his route to have any chance of snagging that pass. From their own 24-yard line, it's third down. Throws in a hurry. Boy, the defensive coordinator in the defense has to be very proud of their efforts and what they've been able to do to rattle this quarterback. He's really struggled on this drive facing a fourth down. He's got the corner. He's pushed out of bounds at the 46. This senior quarterback's put on a good show, Kirk. Well, he really has. You know, this is the kind of guy that's a, just a perfect fit for this system. This team's really going to miss him down the road starting next year. And he's shown it earlier on that touchdown. But this guy can also hurt you with his feet. So he's a guy you have to be aware of, not just with his ability to throw the ball, but also be aware of his athletic ability. The only satisfying end of this game would be for him to lead his team to a win, however they get it done. Last drive ended with as good a result as you can hope for, and I'm sure they'd like to replicate that here. As you can bet this defense made some adjustments on the sideline, though. I don't know if they can stop the passing attack, but they need to at least be able to slow it down. Quick throw out to the receiver. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. They've got one more shot. Let's see if their prayers will be answered with a good old Hail Mary. He heaves it deep. Throws to the receiver. Got it for the touchdown. Dig deep to score here that late in the fourth quarter and come from behind. And now the question is, can their defense dig in and win it for them? Up six. And he hits the PAT. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He'll return it from the four-yard line. They'll bring him down at the 24. So this one's final. Very well played by both teams today. Ole Miss, 41. Nebraska, 34. Let's get Kirk Herbstreet's final thoughts on this one. Herbie, what do you got for us? I was impressed with both teams out there, but the difference in this game came down to execution and playing mistake-free football. Nebraska made a few more mistakes in this game than their opponents. And whether it's turnovers, penalties, missed tackles, or blown assignments, you just can't afford to make mistakes and expect to win. 